Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another video and in today's video, we're going to talk about top 15 job opportunities for you in the coming year 2020, specifically for the Indian audience. Coming up. Alright, let's get into the video. So all the jobs that I'm going to tell you today, I have listed them on my website also. You can find the link in the description. You can just go over there and read the jobs from there too. But since you have started watching this video, uh, so let's continue. So the very first job on this list that I'm looking for my website that I have made and it is the blockchain developer. Not just a Bitcoin or an Ethereum, but a blockchain is a lot more than just a cryptocurrency. To say, a blockchain developer would usually build and optimize blockchain protocols and design the architecture of blockchain system using products such as apps and contracts. Now, you tell me, are you going to be a blockchain developer in the coming year? I don't see myself going to blockchain uh, field for uh, at least for the next 2020 as I'm going to stick around to the second job opportunity that is available for the 2020 and ranks second on the list and that is artificial intelligence specialist. I mean, how can we not talk about the AI if you're talking about the jobs in the coming years? AI is going to be uh, in the market for at least next 10 years and everything that we can imagine will be taken by uh, in one or the other way it will be taken by the artificial intelligence and I think if you're watching this video even you may have witnessed the application of artificial intelligence in your day-to-day -day life and since it is coming in our day-to-day -day life so easily and every every product is changing into AI so of course even the jobs for the AI there will be lots of lots of lots of lots of lots of job for the AI in the coming year 2020 moving on to the next one we have uh, the third that is the javascript developer now we all know react.js angular.js and the power of javascript that anyone can do if you know javascript i mean you can not only work on the front end but with libraries like node.js you can also work at the back end i mean you can be a full stack developer if you know javascript and not, not just about the web development, I should also talk about TensorFlow.js, a deep learning machine learning, a deep learning library, right? So if you know JavaScript, you can also move into deep learning. You can run your machine learning models on the browser itself. So that's, that's how much the JavaScript is powerful. So if you know JavaScript in 2020, I don't think you're going to face any problem in getting the jobs. And with that, let us move to the next uh, job profile we have the RPA that is robotic process automation. So what is RPA? I've made a bunch of videos on my channel You can just go there and uh, watch them too But to simply put RPA that stands for robotic process automation is actually about uh, Mimicking on how actually humans interact with the computer like uh, clicking onto the button writing a text opening a browser and uh, surfing it all these things can be done by a robot or actually a virtual digital robot and the major companies in this field are Blue Prism, UiPath and Automation Anywhere. Let me tell you Automation Anywhere is an Indian company that ranks almost second in the list, right? So RP is also a good market to, uh, to make a career and not many people are, are into this. So I think if you want to move into RPA, this is the high time you should do. And uh, even RP involves a lot of uh, artificial intelligence. Moving on to the next one, we have a backend developer. So backend developer is someone who would take care of the databases. It has been of eminent importance for a really long time and uh, you can use MySQL, Apache, Oracle and everything works. Okay. And the sixth on this list is the growth manager. What does a growth manager do? It uses techniques to get more buyers or users for the product or services. So if you're owning a product based company or a consultancy, okay, so you need to make sure that uh, uh, your products are being sold as many as possible. Or if you're holding a consultancy, you have to give consultancy to many, many people so that your company makes the profit. So as a growth manager, you need to make sure that your company grows right and uh, have a better future and uh, you're making profits moving on to the next and the seventh on this list we have site reliability engineer so what is a site reliability engineer if you'll go with the literature meaning you can actually understand a site reliability engineer would be someone who would be maintaining the website adding a new features onto it uh, even if you're uh, willing to add a chatbot to an existing application that is being hosted this guy or th this person would be doing it and it is of immense importance because uh, this site is already into the production it is live and you need to make sure that you take the transition very smoothly i know i'm speaking very fastly because i thought let us make a new video in this space okay so site reliability engineer is someone uh, uh, who is expected to bring software engineers approach to system administration topics and show technical products and run smoothly that brings us to the eighth 
job profile we have is a customer success specialist i mean this is so so important if you are selling a product you need to make sure that uh, your customers uses uh, uh, when they go to the product they also get a good feedback right you just cannot just uh, sell a product and uh, you are done you need to make sure you need you provide a good service to it so customer success specialist is someone who would take care of that your department and moving on to the next job profile we have is a full stack engineer so when you talk about full stack engineer of course it involves someone who could develop both for the back end and for the front end i mean a uh, full stack engineer would not only work on the uh, uh, visuals like uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but he or she will be also be able to work on the back end and for the database. I mean, one single guy could actually uh, build an entire application from front end to the back end. And uh, this was also in the trend from, I think it came from the trend, I think in 2017 or 18, and it is going to continue for next 2020 also. The 10th one that we have is a robotic engineer. Now, don't get confused with the robotic process automation because a robotic engineer is someone who will be building the application that is used for the RPA. I mean, if you're using an RPA software, right, who is, who is the one that is building it, right? So the robotics engineers are the one who are going to build those RPA software. Now, since RPA is a lot into more demand, so even the soft, the guys would build those softwares, even the, those are going to get the jobs, right? Next one is we have is the cybersecurity specialist. I mean, everything is getting digital and if, if you want your data to be secure, right? So cybersecurity specialist would be the one who would be taking care of your data, making sure that there's an end-to-end -end encryption and uh, this is the utmost importance and I think many of you will be interested to it, uh, but I don't think so. I'll be moving into cybersecurity because I don't know how to uh, secure my data. <laughs> I often lose it. Okay, uh, the 12th on this list is, uh, of course, it should be a Python developer because it happens to be, uh, the Python is usually used for the machine learning part and the artificial intelligence and uh, you can, I, I, I think uh, for the artificial intelligence machine learning part, both Python and R language is used and uh, Python is since it is quite easy and it has many machine learning libraries that supports, so that's where it comes to be Python developer. Moving on to the next one, we have the digital marketing specialist. I have some of my very good friends who are working in the digital marketing field. Uh, it is a good one. Uh, it does have good scope, uh, but I think there are many guys who are working on this. Even I've seen some guys coming onto the TikTok and making some videos on it. So that's perfectly fine if you want to move into digital marketing. But let me tell you, there's a lot of competition in this field. So uh, I'm not moving into digital marketing any soon, right? Uh, the second last that we have is a front-end engineer. So front-end engineer is someone who would usually take care for the HTML, CSS, and the JavaScript. Um, I think everyone knows it, right? What is a who is a front-end engineer? But nowadays, people are making some uh, really good, uh, you know, good look and feel websites. Uh, so, I think you should also be good in the Photoshop and Adobe XD and creating some really good user experience. Not just UI, but the user experience also. Even I think even that matters a lot. The last on the list is a lead generation specialist. Now, it, it uh, the person who moves into lead generation specialist is someone who is ident who is responsible for identifying the customers. I mean, uh, if you have a product and if you want to sell it, a uh, lead generation specialist is the one who would be telling you, okay, right, this is the perfect audience and this is the market you have to sell your product, okay? So I think that goes a little more into management part and not to the technical part. So those are the top 15 uh, job profiles according to LinkedIn that will be pretty much in demand in the next year 2020 for the Indian audience. Let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts for this video and if I had a very good pace and I was speaking a little way too fast because I had to complete a lot of lists. So thank you so much for watching TLA. My name is Stephen Simon. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video.